8.1 number 16. This problem has a right triangle and we're using the Pythagorean theorem to find one of the missing legs. So from the Pythagorean theorem, if we have a triangle with sides AB and hypotenuse C, we know that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs. And in this particular problem, we have an airplane that is a height 4,100 feet above the ground. It's an unknown distance away from the airport, and we know that the diagonal distance to the airport is 14,900 feet. So we want to find this missing side, B. There are a couple ways you can do this. Um, the first way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to solve for B, leaving these as C and A, and then plug them in once we have our expression for B. And then the other way you can do it is plug the numbers in right away and take it from there. So first let's not plug the numbers right away. If we want to just isolate the B, because that's what we're going to be solving for, let's take away A squared on both sides. So we have C squared minus A squared equals B squared. And now if I take the square root of both sides, the square root of C squared minus A squared is going to equal B. So now I can go ahead and plug in my values for c squared minus a squared. So c squared is going to be 14,900 squared. Oops, take away. a squared, a is 4,100. Square it. Take the square root, and I'll have my b. Whoops, there you go. All right, so now we just plug it into our calculator. So first I put in 14,900, I square it, get an answer for that. Then I subtract 4,100, hit my x squared function, so that squares it and then the subtraction comes out to be that enormous number. Now I want to take the square root of that number, and it depends on your calculator, calculator that you have, how you do this. Uh, you might need to just do square root function and input that entire number or for this calculator I can say square root function and then put in the answer that I had above and I get 14,324 equals B and the answer will be in feet because that's what the original dimensions are. Alright, so that's one way you can do the problem. Solve for the variable first in terms of the other variables and then plug in the numbers once you have the equation. The other way you can do it is to go right for plugging in the numbers. So I'll do it that way too in case some of you have that as a preference. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared and we're given in the equation that a is 4100 feet and C is 14,900 feet. So we can go ahead and plug those in. 14,900 squared equals 4,100 squared for A plus B squared. And if I do those out, 14,900 squared is a humongous number, 222010000322010000. So that equals 4100 squared, which is 16,810,000 plus b squared. And now I need to subtract 16,810,000 from both sides because I want to isolate the b squared. So that cancels. So when I do that out, 222,010,000. Take away 16,810,000 equals. 
2052 and five zeros. So that equals b squared. And now I need to square root both sides. And that's going to give me b equals same thing as before. 14,324 feet. All right, so you're going to get the same answer either way. 14,324, 14,324. Just depends on what way you like better.